Bradford and Avon. Um, it took us a little while, we kept stopping all the way because there were so many wonderful sights. The weather was absolutely glorious, we had about a week of beautiful sunshine um, and then we had a massive thunderstorm. Which you'll see later on in the, in the video. Yeah, I mean in the UK we don't really get huge thunderstorms so for us it was quite spectacular wasn't it? Yeah it was very spectacular so we've, foot we've done some footage and um, we've hopefully slowed down some of the major bits so you can see that there's sort of fork lightning and um, you know the lightning up in the sky so it's quite dramatic so and then we've decided because it's so busy down this end um, of the Kennet and Avon Canal that we're going to turn around and go east up the Cane Hill flights again 29 locks yeah back up I think we're mad um, and up to the Vale of Pusey yeah which will be coming in the next two or three vlogs. You'll see our journey there. Um, but also, what you will see as well is um, in this coming in this this vlog is um, us taking a trip on foot around Bradford on Avon. Mm. It's not designed to be uh, particularly informative for you. It's more just a snapshot of some of the lovelier buildings that we came across, the lovely walks, the lovely parks. Um, so yeah, we just we cram as many of those in. So if it does jump from one picture to another to another to another, it's because we're trying to cram them in into our sort of 10 minute slot video, if you like. It so was just such a stunning place, wasn't it? There's so much to to film. Um, yeah. You could definitely spend a whole day there, couldn't you? Looking oh yeah, around more, the town more than a whole day, easy. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so enjoy the vlog um, and um, we'll see like. you next. Oh yeah, like, subscribe, click bell. Comment. Comment, <laughs> like us on Facebook. Cook us dinner, <laughs> invite us round. Say hi. Say hi if you see us. Okay, so we're just going to walk into Bradford and Laven and get rid of some rubbish and see what the sights are like. Yeah. This is the Tithe Barn. It was built in the mid 1300s by the Abbess of Shaftesbury. Um, it's 168 feet long um, and it was used for storing grain and wool and other things. And it was originally part of a farm called Barton Farm, which was a medieval farm, which was originally part of the monastic estate of Shaftesbury Abbey. Uh, the, the granary and the cow buyers now house craft shops and galleries. Um, it was in private ownership until 1971, but it's now obviously part of the main town and is now a country park. This particular road used to house weavers' cottages. Um, on the far end, you can just see the um, rooftops with the big windows, and uh, they needed the extra light because obviously they used to work uh, long into the um, the evening hours. And obviously, from their point of view, they needed as much light to be able to uh, see the work that they were doing. But Bradford on Avon itself was a hub, a centre um, for the weaving trade. And at one point, uh, when the canal was completed in 1810, there were over 30 water-powered cloth mills in the town.
like lightning, then. Mm. 